Princess has a new television system as part of the medallion net. We're going to show you how it works today with the Ocean View. The Ocean View is a bit of a challenge for us, so we thought we should probably tell people ahead of time that there's a lot of changes involved in the medallion net. Hey everybody, this is Bob with Bucket List Cruise and Travel. We're going to be highlighting today Princess's new medallion net television system. It's quite a bit different from the system they used to have in their old ships. In fact, it used to be on the shelf right over here to my left. The new TVs are located directly in front of the bed and uh, they have a list and a myriad of options available to you and we're going to show you how it all works today. The first thing we're going to show you is the new remote control. It's set up with the on and off. The back, which is what you really need to know, and um, you have a mute button here, and the volume, and the channels are here, but this little interactive wheel is how this thing really, really works. So we have a bunch of different sections up here. We have the home page, which is the princess section. We have the princess patter. We have my cruise, medallion class, your movies and your TVs, and your dining, your future cruise, and at the bottom is your settings. To get to one to the other, you will use the wheel. So if you hit it to the right, we're going to highlight the food and service. Hit it to the left, the wake show comes up. Hit it to the left again, and you have access to other options by going down. So if we go down, the pattern is highlighted. Go down again, my cruise is highlighted. Now if we, uh, let's go back up to the pattern here. Yesterday, we were in the island of Aruba. Wonderful, put that on your bucket list. So, I hit the right on the clicker here. It gave me my welcome to Aruba. Hit the middle button in the wheel, and it gives a nice little highlight of what's happening there. To get out of that page right there, you go back on the left side again, and that takes you to here. Take it back there again. It, now you're in the welcome to Aruba part. We can go up or down. So let's go back. So we're going to go up one on the toggle. Hit the home with the back highlighted. And it takes you back to the original page. Number, number, number of options on this one. All the daily reminders will be on here. Tonight is formal night. If you have questions about your satellite TV or your internet, you go here. Safety, stateroom safety, the each back, and of course, the reminders. So let's go back again. And at the bottom of the patter is the weather app. So you can highlight that one. It'll tell you everything that's happening with today's weather. And if you're really curious about where you are in the world, you go to the location app, hit the center button again, and then you hit the center button again to play. So it'll take a second to load, and then it'll tell us where we are. We're currently leaving Aruba, and we're headed back to Fort Everglades in Florida. So we're going to be going between these two points right now, and if you want to see exactly where you are, go to the right-hand side, and it'll make that screen appear closer than it had previous. Well, you can't go too close on this one because we're still in the middle of the ocean. But we're right now about 60, 70 miles off the coast of Haiti. So we can hit the back button on the remote, and it'll take us back to there. We can hit the back button again. This is the other way to do it. And now we're highlighted on the location app. So let's get out of that, and we're going to go into My Cruise now. Number of options are available under My Cruise. The Wake Show, which is the morning variety show, which gives you all the happenings of what's going on for the day. If you have enrichment lectures on board, and usually there's an enrichment uh, speaker, you can tap that and all of the speakers' shows will be on television. So you can catch them at another time if you weren't there when he spoke the first time. So let's go back. And now we're in enrichment. We can go to the Cruise Health. Whoop, hit the wrong button myself whole bunch of different options here. So we're highlighted again here, so I'm going to hit the home button. 
Let's go back. Okay, now we're in my cruise. So the wake show is highlighted now, and I'm just gonna kind of run through so you can see what's available. We've got the cruise health, safety, stateroom directory. There's no book in the stateroom anymore. So everything is located on the television right now. See, I didn't find this out until day two. I was looking all over the stateroom for the little book. Um, any entertainment and events will be highlighted here. Medallion Net, which is the internet, is highlighted. Um, any shore excursions, and uh, we've already had our last port of call, so the shore excursions are gone now. Lotus Spa is right here. Let's open that one up. And there's all the treatments that are available with the, the Lotus Spa. So you can just shop right at those on board. Let's take a look at the seaweed massage. And we can play the video that tells you all about the seaweed massage. So all of that is available on your television as well. And then we're back into the home page of my cruise since that's the highlighted option. And I'm just hitting the bottom button on the wheel. Photos, onboard shopping, fine arts, and of course, the bed system. The prince's bed is very, very comfortable. So comfortable, in fact, they're happy to sell you one. So let's go back. My cruise is highlighted now. I'm going to hit the bottom wheel again. Medallion class is open now. It'll give you an overview of medallion, your food, drink and service options are here. Your Queen C Blackjack, which is a live gambling on your stateroom TV, and also Dine My Way. Dine My Way is the new dining system, and um, it's all interactive with the app and the television. If we tap food, drink, and service, give it a second to, uh, to load up, and uh, who is uh, gonna be ordering? It's going to be me. It's my beautiful picture that I took as a selfie before I came on board. So take your time. Everybody's going to see this picture. And now we can have all the interactive features of ordering room service. We can order beverages, coffee and tea. We can call the crew for assistance. We can even order food, merchandise. Of course, there's the gaming and stateroom amenities. If you need towels, if you need soap, you can just uh, do it on the interactive TV. But let's take a look at the food options. Since this is uh, the highlighted, we just hit down. Let's get a hamburger right now. So we've got 100% beef. It says right here that it is complimentary. Not everything is complimentary. Let's go down to the pizza real quick. So if you order a pizza, like the Pizza Capri, it's a $3 charge for the pizza. But most items on the room service are complimentary, but just to be aware, that there's sometimes a charge, just so you know. And uh, hey, let's order some french fries right now, okay? <laughs> so these are complimentary, and you can order one, you can add it to the basket, and I'm just had lunch, so I'm not gonna order it, but this is how you would do it. Add it to the basket, and then one more, and you hit order now. And uh, it'll be to arrive into your stateroom, piping hot, as soon as you're ready for them. So let's go back out. I went to the left-hand side. I'm highlighted right here on the exit, and we're there. And now here's the exciting part. If you're on your balcony, like we have been for the last 11 days on our balcony, we've had some phenomenal days at sea, and um, we just didn't even want to leave the balcony. So let's highlight balcony, and uh, let's get something to drink. I could use a cold Bud Light right now. So we're gonna open up the Bud Light since it's the highlighted feature. Tap the center button. We can have a Bud Light delivered to our stateroom. This is, applies to any beverage available in the bar. So it could be as simple as a Coke, a beer. They can make you a Bloody Mary. They can make you a Milky Way Martini, which is one of Natalie's favorites, and delivered right to your stateroom. So let's go back. I'm gonna go up on the wheel until this is highlighted. Oops, I got four of those things. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> so we're gonna go out of here. And then I'm gonna go back, and the same thing happens with the rest of it. So we're gonna go up to back until that's highlighted. Boy, I have some, some problem here with the beer, don't I? So next we're gonna have the movies and TV section. So you highlight this section, and with the right wheel, you can go into movies, live TV, TV series, if you're into TV and you have a chance to binge watch something while you're at sea, that's your highlighted wheel. Ocean Originals, audiobooks are on board. 
music, which is basically your onboard music system. You can put it on the light jazz in the background or whatever you'd like. You can go back, you got your watch list, and you're recently watched. Um, the movie section is quite extensive. It's just like an onboard system on an airplane. You just go through all the movies that you would like. Everything is available, and it's on your highlighted wheel right there. So let's go back. And then live TV. So this is highlighted. You go to the right. You go to the right. You can watch Fox News. You can stay up on your stocks with CNBC. Sports is a 24-hour sports loop. And then we have the special events, which are highlighted here. So far, we've seen football games on this television uh, network, and including Thursday Night Football and Monday Night Football. So you can watch your football while you're at sea. Right now, we're in World Series time, and Princess did not have the rights for World Series, but usually something like that will be broadcast. The bridge cam is your next option. Take the wheel to the right, and you can hit the center button, and there's our bridge cam. Now, the nice thing about the bridge cam is all the bridge announcements also come through this channel. So you can turn up the volume if you hear an announcement and you're in your stateroom, and your announcement will play on this channel. So hit the back again, and uh, we can exit out. You can figure out the rest with the TV series, the Ocean Originals. So we're highlighted to live TV. I'm gonna go to movies. I'm gonna go to back. We're gonna hit the center button. So I'm over here now at movies and TV. I can hit the bottom button again, and dining comes up. This is very, very, very handy. The Dine My Way is explained here. The restaurant menus are explained here. Food and drink service, once again, room service is on that one. Now, the rest of it just explains what's available on the ship for you. You can have afternoon tea, chocolate journeys, coffee and cones, which is right up on the Lido deck area, the Crown Grill specialty dining, Good Spirits at Sea, which is the Deck 5 coffee bar, the International Cafe, which is next to the coffee bar. Wonderful pastries down there. Oh, and ice cream down too. And then we also have the main dining rooms, the room service, Sabatini's, way up on top in the back, the Salty Dog, which is the new one in the wheelhouse, the Salty Dog Grill, that used to be the Trident Grill, now that's the new little burger shack, we call it. So we got the Salty Dog Grill, Slice Pizzeria, which is on the Lido deck next to the ice cream bar, then you got the Vines Wine Bar, which is located in Deck 5. Wonderful establishment for getting a nice glass of wine. And the World Fresh Marketplace, which used to be known as the Lido Deck Buffet. So each of these are your highlighted dining establishments on the vessel. So here is all of the dining venues located on the ship. And we also have a video coming up on all the dining venues, as well as the lounges, which are available for you. So let's go up to restaurant menus. Since I went up there, it's highlighted. Hit the center home button. It'll load up. Once again, it just takes a second. You can see it loading right here. And now this is really cool. We have dinner reservations tonight in the Da Vinci dining room. This is another main dining room, the Da Vinci dining room, and the Michelangelo dining room. On the Emerald Princess, there are three main dining rooms. So let's go over to Da Vinci, which is where we're gonna be. The menus are all the same in the three dining rooms. We'll hit our home button. It'll load up, and while it's doing that, you can see the location, it's in deck six mid. The hours it is open are seven to nine for breakfast, noon to 1.30 for lunch, they have afternoon tea from three to four, and then dinner tonight will be from five till nine. And we have the menus across the top. You can have your breakfast, lunch, dinner, or your beverage menu available to you in your stateroom. So you can see if you wanna to go to lunch in the dining room here, or if you wanna take it up on the Lido deck or somewhere else along the ship. So you have the breakfast menu highlighted. Hit the wheel to the right. Try that again, hit it down. So this is highlighted, I had the other one highlighted. So breakfast is highlighted, now you go to the right. Lunch is highlighted. Let's take a look at dinner. So dinner's highlighted now, hit the home button, and tonight is formal night. This is the last formal night that we're gonna have, so it's gonna be quite extensive. So you wanna go down now until this has some color. So now you can use this one. So this will roll your menu. So using the home button, you just hit that, so we're gonna have a wedge salad. Ooh, the tomato biscuits tonight. 
and then the mains come in so you can see what's going to be available tonight oh my goodness we have lobster tail available tonight what else do we have and beef wellington looks like it's going to be a surf and turf kind of night and how about dessert what else do we have hey by the way let's take a look at that again as it goes by so i just highlighted this one because i missed what was available so i went up on the wheel highlighted this and using the home button i can make it go up now so Princess has available the Princess Favorites. This is every night on the, the dinner menu. And uh, we have shrimp cocktail, Caesar salad, French onion soup. They have a seared salmon. They have a roasted chicken. And that's available every single night. So if you can't find anything else to eat, you always have that available. And then tonight's desserts are listed next. We got the pistachio joan and so on. And to get out of that, we're gonna hit the back button or we can use the home button at the top. So we're highlighted, dinner's highlighted, hit the home button again, we're in back, center button will take you right out. Now if you're curious about the Crown Grill, that menu is available also. Now let's go to Sabatini. So we'll hit the wheel to the right and hit the home button and the Sabatini's Pay Restaurant menu is available. This is on deck 16 aft on the port side. The hours are 5.30 to 9.30 and the cover charge is $25 a person. Sweet people get this for breakfast. Only the sweets. I just highlighted the dinner, hit the center, and this is what is available if you go up to Sabatini's and pay the cover charge. Very nice dinner. Um, it's away from the, the main dining room. It's a small venue and um, very, very nice food. It's a nice for a celebration or something to get away. So we'll use the back button or let's just use the home button and go up. So I'm at dinner, hit the top again. I'm in back, hit the center button and we are out. And the rest of the dining venues are all available here. And then the bars will be available as well. Let's take a look at the Adagio bar, which is located right next to Sabatini's. We're loading their menu. They're open from 4.30 to 10, and this is deck 16 aft. All of the drinks are available, just like the dining menus. So we can go, we're highlighted here, we hit the center button, and since the center button controls this, you can take a look at all the drinks. The prices are located next to it. There will be tax added to your drinks, so you're looking at between nine and 10 or $11 for a drink, which is very reasonable on board the ship. And then we'll go back out of it. So the top, using the top wheel, the beverage, top wheel again, the back, center button. And then we'll uh, hit the back button here and we're in dining. Next one down is future cruise. Now, while you're on board, you have to plan your next cruise. There's no better time to plan your cruise. You have the time, you're excited, you love cruising. Where are you gonna go next? It talks about all the different destinations, the program, future cruise planning is available, and then what itinerary do you wanna go? You might as well follow Petra and take the world cruise. Hit the center button, and all of the world cruise planning is right at your fingertips. So let's go back. World Cruise is highlighted, top wheel. And we can go through all of the different options available. So let's go down to settings now. You can choose your language. I chose English because that's the one I speak the best, which is not even that easy for me sometimes. Closed captioning is available and parental controls are available as well. I'm gonna use the back. Settings is highlighted. We're gonna take it all the way up to the Princess home screen. The wake show, all the things you wanna access quickly are available on the home screen. It'll tell you what time it is on the top. So it's 1.53 in the afternoon. Today is Thursday, October 28th. It's 84.2 degrees, which sounds a little bit warm considering where we are, but uh, 29 Celsius for our friends up in Canada. So the Wake Show is available, food and drink, blackjack, shopping, entertainment, the Dine My Way, and the Medallion Class Overview. I hope this helps you. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.